Performing contact biometry with the LXI cubed. Performing contact biometry with the LXI cubed is easy, fast, and accurate. Ensure that the 10 MHz biometry A scan probe is connected to the I cubed console and turn on the system. The patient screen is displayed. Type a patient ID and click Enter. With an existing patient, the previously entered data will automatically display. Entering a new patient ID prompts the user to answer yes to creating a new patient. As an alternative, the system can automatically generate a new patient ID. See Option in the General tab under Utilities. The new patient data, including keratometry values, can then be entered, followed by clicking Save. Check that the patient information is complete on the summary screen. To begin an examination session, you must select the examiner as well as the physician ordering the exam. At times, the examiner and physician will be the same. A default examiner and physician may also be selected. Click Begin Session to start the examination. Choose the eye to be examined by clicking on OD for the right eye or on OS for the left eye. Choose the scan mode, Biometry A Scan, by pressing F4 or by clicking on the fourth icon under Scan Modes. Local anaesthetic drops are applied to both eyes. Do not add coupling gel. The patient's tear film is sufficient to ensure good conduction of the sound beam. Choose the appropriate examination technique. Contact 1 is suitable for adult or average length eyes, and Contact 2 for shorter or paediatric eyes. Check the Auto Acquisition mode box if required. When Auto Acquisition is selected, five images are taken and stored in quick succession. Or, if preferred, the on-off technique can be used and the operator can choose how many images to store manually. Or, the user can review the movie sequence and choose the best image or images. In contact mode, one needs to avoid inadvertent and excess pressure to the cornea, which would result in a falsely shorter measurement. Each user will choose the method that gives the best results for him or her. Choose normal mode and only revert to expert mode if it is impossible to obtain a correct reading in normal mode. For example, for patients who have difficulty cooperating or those with abnormally shaped eyes. Choosing normal mode adds an additional caliper to detect the sclera so as to help avoid measuring into the optic nerve. Next, choose the appropriate eye type. As a last resort, choose Average in the Expert mode for eyes that are too difficult to measure in their respective eye type mode. Valid edges refers to the calipers placed in the anticipated position of the C corneal spike, A anterior lens spike, P posterior lens spike, R retina spike, and S scleral spike. As a spike encounters each caliper, the letters turn from lowercase to capital. Press the left foot switch, or F11, to activate the probe. Have the patient seated with their head firmly against the headrest. Instruct the patient to fixate on a target with their opposite eye. The target should be placed directly in front of the patient and level with their eyes. If poor vision prohibits fixation, ask the patient to keep their eyes steady and facing forward. As a last resort, the internal fixation light of the probe may be used. Hold the probe directly in front of the patient's eye and gently touch the cornea, keeping in mind that the macula should be perpendicular to the probe. Resting the examiner's hand on the patient's cheek may aid in maintaining a steady and aligned probe. The system automatically freezes 5A scan images which meet the correct criteria. It is recommended that you check each image individually as to ensure that the correct echo pattern is displayed and the calipers are in line with their respective echo spikes. If the scans need to be repeated, press the left foot switch or F11 to re-scan. A satisfactory scan or series of scans will show an ACD measurement which has not been compromised secondary to excess pro pressure on the cornea. It is recommended to measure the fellow eye in order to compare measurements. If eyes have similar refractive errors and keratometry values, they should measure within 0.3 millimetres of each other. 
the chosen images can be used for the IOL calculations. For further information, please refer to the iCubed instruction manual available under the Help tab on the iCube system. Or visit the LX website at www.lx.com.